Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? Back with another obscure movie review, and this is a doozy. From a guy named Nathan Schiff, I, 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 because I know a lot of the obscure uh, film directors like Andy Milligan, who uses like film stock, Ted V. Michaels. I never heard of Nathan. I know Crash, uh, Ray Flag Corrigan or Crash Corrigan. Um, one guy, Nathan Chip, I, I think I heard him, but I don't remember. He was a guy that did, did movies like I never, which I never seen, like Weasel Drip My Flesh, uh, Long Island Massacre, and from the New York area. And something I saw called They Don't Cut the Grass Anymore from a channel called Fat, well, it's called Fat Fox, but it's spelled P H U C K N. And uh, this is a gore movie. I think he, uh, and it was shot on a Super 8 millimeter. I think it's easy to, uh, <clears throat> that convert to video or something like that. And, and then this was actually a remastered thing from film the tape or film the video or whatever. I don't know. I don't know the distribution of this. It didn't play in theaters. And in uh, 2003, I guess. And, you know, and I guess the director passed away in 2018. I guess he made this movie because he was on a job that was a horrible experience or something like that. He was mad or something. It's about two gardeners, and they're really hillbilly bumpkin. I mean, like, I don't know why you would hire these guys. A guy, one of the guys are all, like, black around the eyes, and he's, like, wearing just overalls. Like, hey, man, hey, how you doing? And the other guy, Jacob's, like, all slobbering and drooling. He has a mask on. and has, like, a big, like, a hood over his face. Well, I saw on half of his face. It's, it's nuts. And then it starts off with showing a Barbie doll that's cut up. And then they, they must have painted like someone to make it look like blood. Similar to the wig block scene in uh, Gruesome Twosome, the Hershey Lewis set. And this was a doll and stuff. And it's like, this is a doll. And this is not, this is a doll. And it's meant to represent, not represent to re anything except the doll. Or, and it's really weird narration. And then they show like, um, a scene of them hearing all these horrific crimes on uh, on the radio. And then they show this couple sitting down, well, a yuppie couple, a young couple, making out on the lawn. Hey, what's up? Hey, this uh, garden did a really good job cutting the lawn and stuff. And uh, now all of a sudden they're brutally murdered, including like, now this is why I definitely see like the Hercule Lewis stuff with uh, the face. And the guy like going to the face, he like, he can rip it apart. So he ain't that strong. And like squishing everything and like removing the jaw and stuff like that. Somewhat similar to uh uh the Gore Gore girls, Hershey Gore and Lewis did that, but he only did it one time, but he kinda repeat that throughout the movie. It's only seventy minutes. The guy ain't that strong though. Whereas in uh in Gore Gore Girl he had different tools and stuff. They do use tools and stuff on the their victims and stuff. And uh yeah, it's definitely out there. I mean, there's uh, a test. I mean, there's a gore film for gorehounds. If you're not a gorehound, you won't like this. And it's it's not a very good one. It's very low budget. I loved it because it was it was entertaining and and funny. In, in, in a way, it's kind of sick. But I mean, I mean, with horror fans, have that gallows sense of humor. Like someone gets a axe in the head, and he said, "Well, he had a headache. He had to take some Axedrin, stuff like that." Like saying gory sense of humor. Um, I love it. It's very entertaining. And then they do a lot of stuff like that. You know, then the ending was clever. I thought the ending was clever. Uh, the acting was horribly bad. I mean, there was like this, well, towards the end, there was like, they got all these victims. Like, how the heck did they get all these people? Because they skipped a lot. And then these two girls like, well, you go get the police. Okay, you, well, I'm going to get one. No, it's okay. You get me. And you hear them laugh a little bit. So they, that was a screw up right there. And then, you know, one girl's fighting the one guy. It's really funny. She said, and the guy comes up, hey, I can't find a phone. You dummy, you're supposed to phone the police. Well, I couldn't find a phone anywhere. And that was, that was, it's, it's so bad. It's, it's hilariously bad. I never heard of it before until I saw it. And it's very obscure. Um, there's some song called, uh, they call me dumb, dumb, yummy, yummy, dumb, dumb. I don't know where that song came. That's really, this is a really strange movie. It's very strange. Um. What else? There was a scene, uh, and then they do something that's really, I mean, really in bad, bad taste. I ain't saying what happened. Well, I mean, it's really bad taste. I mean, but they do, like, they go for, like, 
really graphic stuff like they did in Gore Gore Girl. I mean, it definitely, oh, it's definitely a, like a tribute to Horton Lewis because they even showed like the spinning newspaper. And I said, like, the two psychotic gardeners mutilate two other people. And then they have the classic line, the one from Blood Feast, where a girl opens up the paper, they have the spank paper, says, legs cut off. That was kind of right. And so it's definitely a tribute to Hertzberg and Lewis. And then they have, like, cops, and they said, hey, and there's one cop, definitely sounds just like Bella goes, I don't know what's up with the people. You know what I mean? Like, the guy said, they said, I hate this girl so alive. And they just looked at it, they don't show nobody. And he said, Hey, do you know who did this to you, Miss? Who did this to you? And I just, and the guy said, "Well, I guess she." I was a two detective guy, and one detective said, "Well, I guess she just died." And then, then the guy said, "Well, she's better off. She's probably overdosed anyways." <laughs> it's really in bad taste. In it's a trash film, but I loved it. It's so bad, it's good. But I mean, a person like me would like it. I don't know if she, I mean, you might think it's in bad taste. I thought it was funny. For the most part, I mean, but it really, I mean, the one thing really is a bad day. I can't even mention it. Uh, it's on that one channel. Uh, I guess he got the idea for Weasel's Whip My, Whip My Fresh from Frank Zappa song or something. I don't know. But I mean, I love the movie. I give it a 10 out of 10. I might show the mass boofer maybe if she wants to. Uh, yeah, it's just a very bizarre, uh, obscure film. I hope you liked the review. Bye. Till next time, please. Take care of my legion.